I heard frequently this term, patient passion, uh, and it's not quite correct for me. It's, it's just a requirement. It's a need. And it, uh, the need for understanding was my way of finding my way in life. You know, as a young child, I don't think that I was a very special child, but sometimes you're afraid. Life is something sometimes threatening, the night, and uh, understanding was my way out. I was in Valles, in a very Catholic region. Um, my mother was also uh, Protestant, actively Protestant, and and the, the, they were, there are two solutions in the world. One is the garden angel, the other one is understanding. I will not say that the garden angel is nothing, but um, my way was understanding. And I, then I continue, and it's not just by accident that I became a scientist. In fact, I, I think I, I thought more about this point since two months <laughs> than all the time before. I got a lot of contacts with other dyslexias and with the association of dyslexic parents and so forth. But at that time, it was complicated. So I could continue during the college from from well, say, 11 to 16, I was at school and I was accepted, still accepted at that school while I had marks which were not acceptable. And um, in some sense, this saved me, but also it's make that it was, a, you know, a laziness below. So instead of working hard and so, I, I did nothing. Uh, relaxing on dyslexia. But and at, at 16, then the, the director who gave me this chance not to uh, be thrown away <laughs> uh, was, uh, went in retirement and uh, I was thrown away within three weeks. But my parents made a courageous move. They throw me to Swiss German, uh, Swiss Germany in a college there and it, within one year uh, it was, you see, it, it was too late, I would say. I had other methods to understand and to, to progress in life. And uh, this was a big shake-up. And, uh, and, then, and then from that moment, it, it went well. Mm. Yes. The time before was a hard time. Hmm. A, a, a bit of a sad time. Uh, you know, a, a young boy who doesn't know where to be in life. But in, in this sense, I feel quite happy to speak with young people who has trouble. Uh, because, uh, ah, and I, I like to say, um, society, that one, one must take, there are a lot of young children who are lost because they are, we feel they are out of the frame. But... Uh, what can happen later is, is enormous. And I, have, I, think, I think I'm an example for that. We all, well, really, we all have something valuable in us. So cultivate what you have in you. And at, when you are young, you don't know what it is, but you know what you like, so go on with what you like. We don't know to be good in everything. We just know to be good in something. And on this stone, you can build a life. I think so. Huh? Oh, you need a bit luck. Huh? And in order to bring me to Nobel Prize, you need a lot of luck. Yes. Yes, you imagine. You have a Somalian girl who came here, yes, abducted by some terrorists, 
was brought away and could fly, could, could come home again. And then her father could send her away because she couldn't stay there and come in Switzerland and is in a, she's 14 and a half and she come in a home for young children, refugee without parents. There she grew, she was supported. And then I met this, I work with this person and I teach her mathematics. Two plus three, and so far. And you have these two persons, this person and the future Nobel Prize, <laughs> speaking for one hour in front of the other, just about trying to understand and trying to understand each other. That's impressive. That, and that's, perhaps she learned something in mathematics, but I learned very much about human being. First of all, of course, ah, what to say? There are so many words, the, the basic word, of course. We are, so, we are as different as possible, but we love each other. You see, the, this, this word is a complicated word, huh? but it's, there is in human being the capability to, to love each other above all the difference. Oh, that's the big thing. That's that the thing we should, we should cultivate and make great, of course. Yes. I think that it is inhuman, in the biology of human, uh, to be interested, not in science, but in knowledge, in not understanding what's coming on. And if I dream, if I walk, uh, and, tr and just think about nothing, I think about what happens, what will happen, what, what's going to happen. I want to know what's going to happen. And for that, I need to understand a lot of things. And the more I understand, the more I'm prepared to, to, to go my way in life. This is the, this is the way you, the homo, sap, homo sapiens has developed and became this powerful uh, object, which is uh, making the world for the best and for the worst. Well, of course, it's a shock, but I thought I don't want to change. I thought I manage that, but my women, my wife, and and my wife and my children noticed that. No, 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 no. You, it's visible that you are quite shocked. And, um, and indeed, two, two days ago, I, I, was, I was sick. <laughs> and I think I didn't understand what happened, but I think that the Nobel Prize is a big shock. Yes. You see, well, at the first minute, uh, the first afternoon, I was on the, my university campus, and there were everybody celebrating, and, I, and they wanted signatures, photograph, and so. And I, I thought, but what do they want with that? And then a, a young person gave me a packet of chocolate, a chocolate, a box of chocolate. And I told her, Ali, keep it, that's for good for you. You see, oh, you don't want the chocolate. And she took it again and she put it on me vigorously and said, but no, ça me fait plaisir. It's a pleasure for me. And so I realized so many people just are happy because I got this Nobel Prize. And this is surprising. All these people, I got now it's about 2,000 messages. And of course, the, the overwhelming majority, you have the impression the people are happy to, to, to be happy with you. What we, we got this Nobel Prize for our progress in imaging of molecules and we see now atoms, therefore we are in chemistry and, um, and well, chemistry is extremely powerful. With that we can develop drugs, 
cure, I don't know what, uh, understand how the brain working, conscience, I don't know where we go. It's knowledge. Knowledge is very important. Well, knowledge is our best common good. And we should keep that as a common good. This being any knowledge in the world should belong to everywhere. Ooh, which is not so, so obvious. Huh? And uh, now the second question is, what will you do with that? We are very good in producing knowledge. We are testimony of that. But are we so good in using it? In doing, in using our knowledge for the best of, best of all mankind? Mm, we have clearly very big progress to make on that. Well, uh, I'm retired since ten, since ten years. Um, I'm still in my university. They are I have my, my small office there, and it's and well, I, I try to learn. I continue, of course. I read. I and the best way to learn is to discuss with colleagues. Because instead of reading a hard, uh, difficult scientific paper, you just discuss and you get the explanation. That's a big advantage. As you understand, I, I spend time with refugees or with under, uh, uh, well, people with less chains. Well, we walk a lot. We, well, uh, we, 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 we make, we, we are doing things that uh, make us quite happy. Yes. No, no, that's the big trouble. <laughs> 24 hours a day, it's very much too short. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, la, la. <laughs> yes. And, and you see, I'm 75, and I still do not know how to restrict myself. Probably, probably this has something with Cal to do with Calvinism. I'm not at all Calvinist, of course, but nevertheless, in my culture, you know, every... every Minute you get. Uh, every minute is, is so precious, you want to do something out of it. And um, you don't get. Voilà. Les minutes mortelles folâtres sont des gants qu'il ne faudra pas relâcher sans en extraire l'or. Baudelaire. Well, reading, yes, of course. Ishiguro, very good. <laughs> no. No, we, well, you know, uh, uh, well, we, all, all the family is reading him now. Uh, my sister, my daughter was reading him. Uh, she read him before, but uh, we are only, we discover him only since the Nobel Prize. Uh, well, it's, it's a very remarkable thing. Morning, but no, no, the right way. And I'm not the first one to say that, is while walking. Before, it was while jogging. Now I'm not jogging anymore, but uh, walking, walking in the forest. I think Nietzsche was saying things, things about that. Uh, don't believe my, the great thing uh, that I'm writing in, on my desk are coming like that. No, they are coming while I am walking. And from time to time, I'm able to keep them until I can write them down. That's exactly my feeling. Or under the shower. All my genius ideas are coming under the shower, but unfortunately, when I, uh, the minute after, they are no more genius. No, but uh, the, the jogging was very important. Yes, yes. At that time, I was jogging near every, every day, nearly every day, my 10 kilometers. We were not numerous too. It was in, it, the institute was in the forest, and it was a beautiful forest, and this was ideal for that, and we frequently went in a group. And it was psychologically interesting. <laughs> those who always want to be a bit quicker, or those who are running three meters behind or three meters in front, it's a, uh, and those who are just running alone, yes. I have tried all my life. I think now I can't say it. 
to live harmoniously. It's a big, big, <laughs> big, job, big hard, uh, hard task. But, and to, you see, uh, and to decide to make my life. And I've had the chance to be able to do it relatively well as I wanted. And uh, I, I've given this recent time frequently for the young one and for the students this, and also I said it always to my student, there are two kinds of fishes. The fishes going with the stream, they are the dead fish. And there are the fishes going against the stream, and they are the living fish. So I try to be a bit of a living fish. And well, I, had, I was lucky, and um, it was, uh, I feel it, it went quite well. So my biggest achievement is what I think I could do that a bit correctly. Mm -hmm.